Again, people we're back again with another recipe for you this is a very special recipe this goes out to a very special person my wonderful daughter Carol who is in Houston Texas and can't get food like this down in Houston because this is a Midwestern thing we're doing today we're going to do a deep-fried pork tenderloin sandwich so what we're going to start out by doing is using some pork, we're going to flatten it out, and we're going to deep fry them and make some sandwiches out of this. So before I start, again, let me let you know that this is a special shout out to my wonderful daughter, Carol, my grandson, Clark, and my Jamutro, Christopher. Hello, everybody. Hope everybody's doing good there. So now let's start on our sandwiches because I'm getting hungry. We got a pork tenderloin here. It's a whole tenderloin. This is what one looks like right out of the package. When you get it out of the package, it's got this silver skin on it. You want to trim that out. Just get your knife up underneath it and start peeling it away and it'll come right off there. So this one's already been done. You take all the fat you can off, take the silver skin off, and then you cut it into sizes about that big there. See, and that's what you got. Then you take that and you want to butterfly it. We're going to butterfly it. Just don't cut all the way through it. About right like so. Then once we get that done, we're going to take that piece of pork tenderloin and we are going to put it on some wax paper. Take that sheet of wax paper there, set your tenderloin down, flatten it out real good, put you another sheet of paper on top of it, and then you start taking out your frustrations. Don't use the pointy side, use the flat side. And you just want to flatten it out, see what I said, by taking out your frustrations. Hold on. All right, go ahead. All right, we got all our tenderloins here flattened out and you can see this is what you end up with something nice and flat like that so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bread them so we take our tenderloin and first thing we do we just dump it here in a little flour okay that seasoned flour got a little salt and pepper in it then once you got it dredged in there put it in the egg wash Just some eggs and milk. Again, we got it seasoned up because I don't know where you get your eggs and milk, but where I get mine, they don't come seasoned. Push it down into some breadcrumbs. Flip it over. Make sure it's good and covered. Push it all down in there. Shake off the excess and then put them on a pan to let them set. So you do all of them that way. You let them set for about 10-15 minutes before you deep fry them. So we're going to get the rest of these done and then we'll come back and we will get them all fried up for you. So don't go away. This episode of Much Wild Kitchen has been brought to you by High C. Orange Lava Burst. It's great. It quenches your thirst. Alrighty. We're back. We got all our tenderloins all breaded up. And now it's time to deep fry them. We have our deep fryer set at 360 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our tenderloin and we're going to drop it down here in the oil and let it fry up. We're going to fry it for about three to four minutes until it's golden brown. Probably about four to five maybe. You just want to make sure. Just depends really on your deep fryer. Some, some are not as accurate as others or you can even do this in a pan if you want but just make sure you got a pretty good amount of oil in there you don't want it sitting on the bottom of the pan or it'll get kind of burnt and crusty and that's not what you want you're after golden brown and delicious so we're gonna let these fry up and when we come back we're gonna show you how to put it all together in a sandwich and numb it down okay our tenderloin has been cooking 
for about four minutes, close to five. And now it is done. So what we're going to do is take it out of our fryer, get that excess grease off there, let it drain on a little rack. Now we're going to show you how to put this together into a sandwich. We got get you a little mayo. Throw you a nice dab of mayo there on the bottom. Nice toasted bun. Okay. And then we will take our tenderloin and set it on there. Now that's what we call an Iowa hanger. Hangs out the sides. You can cut them in half before you fry them, that's fine too. Just, you know, not a lot of people are manly enough to handle this hanger. Throw you some tomato on there. Some lettuce. The top of your bun, stick it on there. And there you have the Iowa pork tenderloin sandwich. So, this one's for you, baby Carol. My little carrot who's in Houston. She requested this, so this one's for her, but I'm going to eat it. So, until next time, everybody enjoy yourselves. Try it out. I think you might like them. Khan Sasti Masa. Bach Sasti Most, everybody. We'll see you next time. This episode of Machuano's Kitchen is brought to you by Ping. Choice golf clubs of all Machuai. Ping.